Salutations, my Haitians, and welcome to the show that thinks that sluts should be renamed organ donors. Last week on the show, I talked about the woman in Vietnam reselling condoms. Did I drop cliches as though it were my job? See, absolutely. Ah! I reported exclusively, you only got it in, in, to let everybody in who didn't listen last week, what the F are you doing with your life? You're a degenerate and an orphan and nobody wants you. Except us. We're the only ones who will love you. Once you listen to the last episode. And subscribe to everything. Now, what was happening is uh, the Vietnam police, which I've looked up, are called... Vietnam police broke into a warehouse. They are not called the Vietnam police. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's what those symbols mean, Tyler. And what people have been doing is collecting used condoms, rewashing them, boiling them, hopefully for a little while, and then drying them and then repackaging, putting them on wooden schlongs. And then what, what would a wooden schlong be called? Uh, a wildo? A sh <laughs> Tyler! Tyler! Unseats Wildo for the name of the show. I will be struck dead by a, a bolt of lightning inside this house, Tyler. Wildo. I mean, honestly, it's been a long time coming. I want to shut the podcast off right now and just leave. Thank you very much, everybody. Going out on top again. Walk off Grand Slam. So they were drying the condoms out on a wooden uh, uh, Wildo oh. and then re-rolling them, okay? Now, a woman was caught and she told the Vietnam police everything, okay? Uh -huh. I said... That not only did she spill the beans, she also gave up the goods. Okay, now, if you're in charge of that warehouse, would you rather somebody spill the beans on you or give up the goods? Because I sounded like an idiot. I just want to make sure which one is worse. I would rather they spill the beans oh, because wow. then may maybe you go can on. keep some in inventory. You know, you yeah, everybody makes mistakes. You clean it up. You're good to go. If they're... If they're running you dry of all your stuff, then you, you have no product. You can't get back on your feet. Workplace accidents happen all the time. <laughs> Tyler, with the analytical breakdown that I was not, has not done this since, since he told me Prince Charming did not rape because he is the law. Tyler, just blowing my mind. True. Now, if you spill the beans, it stands to reason that there could still be some beans left in there. Absolutely. You can scrape the bottom of the can. N okay. Feed yourself. Now, if you give up the goods, you no longer have goods. Now, that is brilliant. Workplace problem. What if somebody slips on said beans? We don't know if they're cooked. We don't know if the beans are cooked. Yeah. I mean, it's a risk you are going to run for sure. However, you sound like you work in a pretty dangerous place already. So when you get rid of the beans, get rid of the guy who slipped and fell. Just, you know. Toss him out with the trash. And he left with a black eyed pea. Ryan, yeah. last week, I don't know why, I brought up, we were talking about Colin Cowherd. Oh, yeah. And I brought up his beard. Sports Bill Maher, Tyler. That's, that's actually pretty accurate. If um, this does not come in a yes or no question, I'm going to punch you in the face. Did I look up Colin Cowherd's beard? 